but still all points clear of our North London rivals Spurs not a massive difference Man United could actually drop down quite far down they lose there if West Ham and they still win their games but we've got Southampton in the league as the first game of the episode as always I'm just going to turn down I haven't changed any of these CPU stuff don't see the point in that it's just a word cheating so let's put these down to fours and fives as always and get into the first game of the season well of this episode not the season because we're nearly near the end I haven't done any training so I'll probably might not keep the job at the end of this season but we have got players set to join at the end of the season gonna go with uh, a couple of changes for today's game we're gonna play with Ames Rodriguez Urza is going to be replaced by Ozzycop and Marcus Rashford replaced by Balotti. Just to give a few more players a little run out, I do like Alexandra Arnold, got him from Liverpool I believe it was. I was still going to play with Rob Holding and Edison in goal. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the other games. Leicester have Stoke, we've got Southampton as I said, West Ham have Crystal Palace so we'll put all the scores on and we'll have a look at the table if we get a chance at the end of the match so guys eight games to go starting from today's game in the league and the formation seems to have worked the last few games we've been picking up points and we have got a lead over the the chasing pack just watching Rodriguez warm up with some free kicks here And let's go to St. Mary's. Live and exclusive. From the Premier League and Arsenal. And we do kick off here. Gareth Bale finds Sanchez on the left hand side. Plays Yisko. Belotti, first touch for him. Bale, Ojokot. Bit of space down these sides. Might have to play a bit of wing play. And as Rodriguez spots Sanchez. Good header there by Gilbert. Will Price, got to be careful of him, he has got a good strike on him. There's Province to Yoshida. They will press Marcus Alonso there. Is it Alon Marcus something? I don't know if it's Alonso, but anyway. Here's Sergio. Jordan Ayu. Good tackle there. Arsenal have only conceded 20 goals in 30 games this season, which is quite good. Not impressive, impressive, but it's good enough to give us, help us win games. Not even a goal a game we're conceding at this moment, but you never know, things can change with eight games to go. As Romeo finds Sergio, lovely ball to Buffal on that far side. No real pressure on him here, Mustafi eventually does put a foot in but knocks it away oh he actually won the goal kick I thought it was going to go for a corner there but good tackle there eventually by Mustafi he's holding Gibbs doesn't get a good contact on that pass to Isco he's holding again Gibbs to Alexis Sanchez Isco Belotti James Rodriguez last one playing keeper at the moment is Bale Rodriguez finds the run of Alexis Sanchez he try and maybe cut inside does so, gets a good ball into the centre of the box and Vardos with a good header clears it away for an Arsenal corner. Lovely move there from Arsenal though. And Arsenal win another corner. Romeo gets it away. Gareth Bell's in there. Oh good header back to the keeper. Brave header to do so but Costa reacts well to the knock back and wins it in the air. It's Ozzyka, nice play there from to Alexis. Oh, he just couldn't get his feet sorted there, Ozzyka. Good pressure from Arsenal though. 20 minutes gone here at St Mary's, still Arsenal nil, Southampton nil. Haven't seen any scores in that top right corner of the screen just yet, coming up to let us know of any other goals. There's Podence, gets away from Kieran Gibbs, can he get the ball in? He can. Oh, and I you won that in the air. And it's only a couple of million metres wide of that post. Jordan Ayew beats the defenders to the ball and just heads it wide. But is Arsenal on the counter now? Not on the counter, on an attack. Is Sanchez, Bellotti, Isco, 
Sanchez lets it go to Gibbs. Gibbs loses out to Podence, and Kieran Gibbs hasn't got the legs anymore to get back. So here comes Rob Holden to help out, but Kieran Gibbs does eventually track back and wins the ball. Here's Holding, runs it into Jordan Ayew. Opportunity, lovely finish, Jordan Ayew. Southampton break the deadlock. And it's Jordan Ayew with the goal. His third goal, but that will go down as a defensive howler from Rob Holden there. And we had warning signs earlier run for Jordan Ayew. And he's just shown why we have to be so careful with what we do. It's Ayew again. Buffal. Good pressure there from Arsenal. Keeping the ball in the uh, in the Southampton half. It's Ojakot. Spreads it wide to Sanchez, who plays an early ball to Belotti. It's James Rodriguez, looks maybe to strike it, decides against it, finds Oshakop. Sanchez runs into trouble there. Gilbert and James Will Prowse get the ball away. Here's Ayu again. A bit lucky there from Bouval, but he does win a free kick off Alexandra Arnold. So half an hour, 35 minutes gone, 10 minutes to go to half time still. We haven't really forced much in this first half, but that's risky from Alexander Arnold there. Gets away with one there, that could have been a penalty. There's Roger Cop to Gareth Bell now. Bale runs straight into Marcus. And here come Southampton again with Buffal. Alexander Arnold wins it. Sets Gareth Bale away on his right hand side on that far touch line. Free kick given, taken out there. Yellow card, first yellow card of the game. It is for Marcus Alonso, the former Chelsea man. Can Alexander Arnold get his ball into the box? He can, it's not a bad ball in either. Bale can't find a teammate with a knockdown. And here comes Southampton again, but Isco, good interception there to Bale. Down the line, Alexandra Arnold, can he do? Can he get another ball in? No, good tackle there by Marcus Alonso. That's been a good battle with the first half, that far side, but... Three minutes of stoppage time to be played. Here's Bolotti, not Bolotti. Sanchez, Isco, Sanchez, toe poke through to James Rodriguez. And Arsenal have levelled up on the stroke of half time. Amos Rodriguez with the goal. Sanchez with the tiniest of toe points through the gap. It doesn't look like anything's coming. Here's this goal. Find Sanchez. Sanchez just somehow manages to get the ball through the tiniest of gaps. Prods it through. And Hamas Rodriguez rolls it past the on-Russian Ben Foster. And Arsenal level up the scoring with Hamas Rodriguez's first his fourth goal. His first. First goal of the match and his fourth goal of the league campaign as the referee blows for half time. So in the other games, Leicester are 2-1 up at home to Stoke City. Bournemouth 1-0 up uh, away to Middlesbrough. Newcastle 1-1 with Everton. Watford 1, Norwich 1, West Ham 1, Crystal Palace 1. So it could have a few, quite a massive impact. Going to bring on Serge Aurier for the second half. Ozil as well. And Ramsey's going to come on in place of Gareth Bale just to give us a bit more st sturdiness going forward. Not so much out and out attacking, it's a bit more subtle with Ramsey on the right hand side. So Arsenal win the ball back. There's Ozil, Belotti, Isco. Can he get this ball to anyone? Yes, he can. Oh, that's poor from Belotti, though. Marcus Alonso is always going to win that. It's Osha Cup. Isco. Nice play to Alexis. Can he get it onto his favoured right side? No, given away to Gilbert. It's Jordan Ayew down this far side. Holds it up really well. Holding. Good interception there by Holding. Not so for a throw in, but eliminates any. Early ball coming into the box, but here's John Ayew 
to Gilbert. Nice move there from our, from Southampton, but Rob Holding again wins it. James Ward-Prowse went for goal, and Edison will gather that. Sanchez flicks it on. Belotti. Oh, Urza went for the really early ball, and it nearly came out there. Ramsey still wins it just about, and then Urza will try to flick it round the corner for Sanchez. Doesn't work out. Kieran gives what. Aurea makes a run but doesn't get picked out. Ramsey finds Ozhakop again. Nice dummy. Sets it to Isco. Belotti oh, comes off his teammate Ozil and goes away for a Southampton goal kick. Half an hour left, guys, in this match. And it's been entertaining. It's not been a boring one all draw so far. There has been quite a few nice moves and Sanchez trying to make something happen there. Doesn't win the ball. Weyberg to John Nayu who got the first goal for Southampton. Here's Podence. Good turn. Gets the ball in. Dangerous area. And luckily for Isco, the ball doesn't find the attacker there because Isco was out jump. But here's Aurea. The right back. That's poor from Mesut. That's such a poor ball. Ramsey trying to make something happen. Hoiberg gets it away. Down the line for Buffal. Ramsey cheekily tries to pick out a ball there, but that's launched forward to Jordan Ayu. Holden's got to be careful. Wins the ball. Isco gives it straight back to Podence, though. That's poor from Arsenal. Ramsey wins it. Ramsey's got it. Arsenal on the counter. Ramsey couldn't get the ball away, and that's poor in the end, but Marcus Alonso under pressure. Finds Gardos. PSG the next game for Arsenal. Their second leg I believe it is. 20 minutes left. Can Arsenal scrape all three points in a game that I don't think they deserve to. But a draw is probably the fairest result here. As this guy gives it away again to Marcos Alonso. To Buffal. Spreads it wide to James Ward-Prowse. Lovely bit of space here for Ward Prowse. Can he get the shot away? Decides not to. Kieran Gibbs will run it downfield here. And then find a nice ball to Ramsey. Oh, and then Ramsey picked out the wrong pass. And here comes Southampton again. Good ball to Podence. Oh, I should had to time that. And the referee said he did. Into the final 15 here. At St Mary's. Ramsey had to win that. He's looked for Sanchez on that far side. If Sanchez can get there. I don't know if he has. Oh, he did. He did win that. Wasn't sure if he did. I think he's offside. He's not. But Ward Pass is intercepted. And here comes Southampton. It's a three on two here. Holden's going to have to go over and try and stop this ball coming into the box. And he does so. Goes back to the goalkeeper. Ozzycott to Ramsey. Arsenal looking for one more attack, maybe. And Ozil's giving it away cheaply to Hoiberg. It's Gardos. It's Marcus Alonso. To Gilbert. Charlie Austin. This guy's got to go over there and cover and does so really well there. And gets the ball downfield, but not the best of clearances. Isco looking for offside. Aurea is under pressure. Ward Prowse should have scored. The ball falls for him so nicely. He tries to turn and swivel it into the back of the net, but doesn't work out. And here come Arsenal with two minutes of stoppage time. Bolotti. Sanchez finds Kieran Gibbs. It goes to the byline. Tries to win a corner. Doesn't work out. And that should be full time. And we do not gain the three points we would have wanted. We don't. We, we still pick cut the point. And keep our advantage over Tottenham Hotspur. But look at that. Leicester thumped Stoke. Crystal Palace beat West Ham. Watford beat Norwich. Newcastle held. Everton Middlesbrough held Bournemouth. So guys. We've got the quarterfinals next up in the Champions Cup 
Well, the Champions League. Let's just read the emails quickly. Oh, that's perfect the timing, really. But I don't know if he'll be fully fit for it. Ricardo Rodriguez returns in time for the PSG match. So, make a couple of changes. Yep. Martial. No, we're going to play with Coutinho. Dybala up front. Walcott. Della Rally. Granite Xhaka. Jack Wilshere. And Ben Chafe. It's not a weak, weak side. And it is the first leg, I believe. I might be wrong. We'll find out shortly. It is away at the Stade de France, which, if we can pick up an away goal, could be absolutely crucial going forward. But we have got a strong lineup. As you watch the ball, I just wind up the defence here. Look at that, and France at home. Just watching the ball, wind up players here. Look at that. But anyway, let's go to France. Akadi and Dabala players to keep an eye out. One from each side. As Salah gets the match kicked off for Paris Saint Germain. It is the first leg, and this could be an absolute belting game. Is Verratti to Salah. Under pressure. Somehow finds Akadi there. Michelny gets the ball downfield. To Xhaka, Della Rally, threads it through to Paolo de Bala. Can he get there? Yes, he can. Good turn. Puts the ball in for Walcott. Straight at Kevin Trapp. Good start here from Arsenal. Early corner. Can they do anything with it? It's not a bad ball in. Walcott can't turn that header towards goal. And it goes out for a Paris Saint Germain throw. Six. Walcott's header. Maybe should have been angled a bit better, but. He got it on target. It's Hesse. To Matuidi. And Matthew Acardi. Gets a bit lucky there. Still gets the ball forward to Matuidi. Jenkinson reads it. Ricardo Rodriguez tried to launch that quickly forward. Gets deflected. Here's Acardi. Marco Verratti. Jenkinson plays an early ball again. It's just coming straight back at Arsenal here. Here's Koscielny. Della Alli. Early ball to Dybala. Jack Wilshere returns it to Dybala. He tries to thread it through the gap. Della Rally should win that. Doesn't do so. Here's Verratti. To Matuidi. And he launches it out of play for an Arsenal throw in. The rain is pouring here in France. As Coutinho runs down the line. Cuts inside. Then plays it to Paolo Dybala. That's a nice ball to Dybala. He's straight at the keeper. He gets no angle on that effort and it hits Trap and goes out for an Arsenal corner once again. Xhaka tries to make that happen with a poor header to knock it at Verratti. But Arsenal have started this game really brightly here. Coutinho's ball in is a dangerous one. Wilshere. Della Rally. To Wilshere. He can strike him here. He goes for it, Jack Wilshire doesn't really catch it all that well, it's aiming towards the top corner. It didn't really have any real pace to it. Oh, Matuidi's taken out, that could be a yellow card in a moment for Jenkinson, I believe it is. But they don't care at the moment. As the referee's... What's he done here? What's the referee doing here? Has he... Oh, he's doing it as offside. So we do see the yellow card for Lauren Koscielny there. There's Jack Wilshire. Jacko, that is such a waste of possession there from Granite Jacko. Here's Marco Verratti. Under pressure. Oh, and Ricardo Rodriguez got pulled towards the ball there. And Koscielny had to go over and help his teammate out. But here come Arsenal on another attack. Again, Jacko. Can't get the pass away. The baller tries to put a bit of pressure on Kirkzar. And it's PSG who are beginning to settle down into a bit of rhythm here. 
but Arsenal do look the more dangerous as Coutinho picks it up. Tries to get away from Verratti. Still has it though. Turns. Gets to the byline and wins a corner off Verratti. And Ricardo's Rodriguez's header goes so far off target. He goes out for a throw in just by the benches, but Salah can't do much with a throw in. Gives it straight back to Arsenal. Here's Jack Wilshere. Coutinho finds Granite Xhaka. And again, Jack is giving it away. Not for the first time we've said that today in this match. As Icardi brings it forward under pressure from Ricardo Rodriguez. Down this right hand side, he's got players going into the box. Still got it here. He's going into the box. This is dangerous. And Jenkinson reads it and finds Walcott. He finds Granite Xhaka, but again, he just can't do anything with that ball when it's given away. And is he going to be one of the players that sacrificed at half time? I don't know just yet because Coutinho has picked up Dybala and Dybala this time gives it away. Ricardo Rodriguez, can he win that in the air? No, nope, Salah wins it. Jack Wilshire gives away a really cheap free kick there, not really needed to do that. And Ricardo Rodriguez gets back into position on that left back position. Good to see him back after a long layoff with injury. And that's poor. Then rally picks that up, it goes forward, oh but Walcott took too long getting the ball away and PSG are into the Arsenal box here and they've scored. Kazawa with the goal and it's such a poor goal for Arsenal to concede. They give the ball away so cheaply and no one presses. He's allowed time to pick up the ball that he wants and it's not the biggest and brightest of headers but it's PSG that break the deadlock. Here's Jack Wilshere. Sets it to Granite Xhaka. Back to Wilshere. The ball in. Cleared away. Unselfish there from Jenkinson. Could have maybe gone for goal. Decided not to have a pop shot. Here's Walcott. Sets it to Xhaka and it's cleared away. And now it should be the end of the first half. At the Stade de France. And the referee does blow. So... PSG 1, Arsenal 0, and I think we are going to see the end of Xhaka's game. I think Giroud maybe will come on and Dybala will go back into attacking midfield. Or do we leave it like that? No, we've got to take off Granite Xhaka, he's not having an influence. And we do keep the formation the same. As Giroud makes his entrance. Probably his last season with us here as well. But we'll see. Jenkinson goes on a little run. Gives it away to Matuidi. Arsenal put a plan. Good pressure there. Trying to win it back early. And that's come off Walcott and out for a PSG throw in. Oh, Hesse. Good turn. And look at this pressure from Hesse here. He's got pace. And Jenkinson will knock it out for a PSG corner. I say just caught on the ball there, but five minutes into the second half. PSG with a header. Icardi wins another corner of Carl Jenkinson there. And Giroud's been sent forward, maybe to catch PSG on the counter. It doesn't come to anything. There's Matuidi. Clever play. And now Arsenal maybe can hit PSG on the counter. But there's no real movement going forward and that's probably the issue. No one made the, an attack and move forward. Here's the baller. Looks for Giroud. Good dummy there by Giroud. Made himself a bit of space. And can't get the pass away. Matuidi, good pressure. But that's going to fall for an Arsenal player, isn't it? It has. It's fallen for Giroud. And he should have had a free kick on the edge of the box. The referee doesn't give it. And Arsenal again with Della Rally. Finds Theo Walcott, who will look down the line and gets there. Don't know how he beat the defender, but cuts it back, and that's poor from Theo. He should just launch it into the box. He's got the height in there with Olivier Giroud now. Sides against it, but Jenkinson should have. I think he wins the ball fair and square. The referee disagrees, and with half an hour left to go, you do have to fear now 
for the Arsenal boys. They've played pretty well, but just can't break down this stubborn PSG defence. Kazawa's goal separates us two teams at the moment. Here's Salah. Gives it away to Coutinho. Opportunity maybe for Arsenal to get this ball over the top. Delarali, can he do anything with it? He plays it inside. Arsenal playing keep ball. Theo Walcott releases the Bala. Puts it across goal. And Trap gets it away for an Arsenal throw in. Far side. 25 minutes left to go here at the Stade de France. Still Arsenal trail. But that's not a bad ball in. Can Arsenal do anything with it though? No. Verratti. But that's not the best of balls at all. And Arsenal should get that away. Koscielny. To Coutinho. Goes low to Tabala. Finds Giroud. He plays a good ball over to Theo Walker. His first touch is pretty good. He gets a shot on target. And it... The clearance is off the baller and over the bar and is that the end do you feel for Arsenal's hopes in this match the pressure there from Coutinho wins it back as Ricardo Rodriguez back from his layoff oh Walcott did actually get a touch to that but we are going to make another couple of subs we've got two left we're going to take off we've only got a fully fit bench that is the problem so we're going to take off Walcott put the Bala back up front we're also going to take Coutinho off and bring on Holgate we've got a bit of pace so let's see what we can do with the last 15-20 minutes here at the Stade de France in a game that I don't think we deserve to lose I think we do deserve a goal maybe a draw would be a fair result but it's not what we aim for guys and you know that if you've been watching my FIFA career thus far you'll know that we don't go for draws we always go for three points and that at the moment doesn't look like we're going to pick up a win here but hang on a minute because it could get worse a 2-0 scoreline could be on its way but Ricardo Rodriguez gets back the left back does really well to recover there Bishoni knocks that out for another corner hit it short and also got to be careful here and Ricardo Rodriguez gives away another corner but this is the problem with Arsenal at the moment they just can't get the ball away now they can though no. it's the ball up and he's got Holgate going forward here the first legs of, legs of Holgate fine power of the ball and this is what Arsenal were looking for gets the ball in oh it's lovely from James Rodriguez that is world class that is what you pay the money for James Rodriguez levels up the scoring and Arsenal have the away goal. It's lovely counter play from Arsenal. They didn't look like they were going to get anything out of that out of that um, series of corners. But then Dybala picks out this ball to James Rodriguez. 1-2 back of the net. Holgate maybe you'd feel the ball was going to. But it's played behind Holgate and he picks out James Rodriguez. And Arsenal level it up. And maybe that substitution, bringing on Holgate, going pushed him forward, may have just got us that away goal. But here comes PSG on the account on the another attack with Hesse, Icardi, Bazawa to Icardi again. Good pressure there. The Bala wins it back. Della Ali, Ames Rodriguez, Giroud to Holgate, and Holgate's got the fresh legs once again. But I think he's overdone it, has he? No, nope, he's still got it. Oh, and then he tried to pick up the cheek as the back heels there. And now Arsenal could be hit again on the counter. But again, Arsenal press well. Ricardo Rodriguez gets back. He hasn't got the legs, and that's an issue. Michelle Neat knocks it away for, an, for a PSG corner. Moments left, guys. Three minutes of stoppage time have been signalled. Hang on, hang on a minute because the game's not done just yet. Oh, it will be now though. The office doesn't play full time. I thought that might have been it. Time is to throw. More time being killed here by the PSG team. 
And listen to the boos ringing here. And that should be full time. That is full time. So we do take a little away goal. A 1 0 draw here at the Stade de France. The part the Prince says. And PSV beat Porto, but Porto also picked up an away goal in that game. <clears throat> so, what did our draw mean in the in the Premier League? We've only got a two-point lead over Tottenham Hotspur in the league. And who do we have? Swansea City. So we'll have a look in. We'll have a quick look at the running for our final few games, guys. Six games, seven games left, whatever it is. Six games. We've got seven. Spurs have gone top for now. But let's have a look at the running. See what games we've got. So we've got Swansea, PSG, Watford, Middlesbrough, Burnley, Crystal Palace, Norwich, Liverpool, and Sunderland is our final game of the season. So we haven't got an easy run in. Um, let's have a look. Oh. So, do 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 do. Just having a quick look through this list here. Looking for who oh, we've got. We've got Swansea, Spurs. Next game is Everton. And then Sunderland. Oh, this could be tight. This could be really tight, especially in May. Let's have a look at the May games. Spurs have Chelsea, so that could really decide our t where the title goes. Because we host Burnley the next day. And then there's a week. Spurs have a harsher run in than we do, guys. But anyway, we're going to leave it there for today's episode, guys. We're going to play some more in a little while. So hopefully you'll join me for that. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon for another FIFA career mode, the final few games. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon.